Amazon's calls on SpaceX for help. All blame Jeff and Blue Origin. Jeff Bezos's Blue Origin is making significant progress in assembling its new Glenn rocket. While the strides in space exploration are commendable, a surprising turn of events unfolds as Amazon, the sibling company, throws a curveball by collaborating with its arch rival, Elon Musk's SpaceX. This groundbreaking deal mandates SpaceX to launch Amazon's Kuiper Internet, beaming satellites into orbit, utilizing the Falcon 9 in the upcoming year. The juxtaposition of these ventures adds an intriguing layer to the dynamic space race, where corporate alliances navigate the complex interplay of competition and cooperation. So what factors contribute to Amazon seeking assistance from its competitors to accomplish its mission? To what extent is space X capable of effectively fulfilling the contract in question? And does Amazon plan to maintain a priority for Blue Origin in future contracts? For answer of all these questions, stay with us till the end of the video. But before starting the video, if you are new to our channel, do subscribe to it. Also, press the bell icon so you will never miss any updates in the future. Let's look into the video. On December 1st, Amazon dropped a cosmic bombshell, unveiling a deal that sent shockwaves through the space industry. In a strategic move, the retail giant announced a groundbreaking agreement, hitching a ride on not one, not two, but three Space X Falcon 9 launches. This unexpected partnership, set to kick off as early as mid-2025, promises to supercharge Amazon's satellite deployment schedule, adding an extra layer of intrigue to the evolving space odyssey. The plot thickens when we rewind to the spring of 2022. Amazon initially excluded Elon Musk's SpaceX from a historic rocket launch deal, opting for rockets from Ariana Space, Ariane 6, Blue Origin's New Glenn, and United Launch Alliance's Vulcan. This decision sparked a legal comment, with internal shareholder lawsuits blasting off in Amazon's direction in August. The core accusation is a mere 40-minute boardroom decision, allegedly sidelined space X due to personal rivalries between Musk and Bezos, inadvertently limiting competitive bids and potentially inflating costs by hundreds of millions. The urgency of Amazon's Kuiper project amplifies the lawsuit's resonance. With a colossal plan, a $10 billion budget, Amazon aims to unleash a constellation of 3,236 satellites into low Earth orbit, transforming the heavens into a broadband haven for densely populated countries worldwide. The Exis July 2026 deadline acts as the ticking clock requiring Amazon to launch twice a month a mission-critical feat that hinges on a strategic alliance with reliable service providers as this cosmic drama unfolds. It's clear that Amazon's Kuiper project is not just a satellite venture. It's a high-stakes orbital opera where legal battles, corporate rivalries, and the urgency of cosmic deadlines collide in a celestial spectacle that captures the imagination of Earth-bound spectators. Trap in. This is one space saga you won't want to miss. As a matter of fact, Amazon has contracts with rocket firms covering around 100 missions. It is anticipated that the Vulcan rocket, which was contracted for 38 Kuiper flights, would conduct its first test flight from Cape Canaveral, Florida, on December 24. Mid-2024 is when the European Ariane 6 rocket, scheduled for 18 launches for Amazon, is expected to make its debut. Jeff Bezos, the creator of Amazon, owns Blue Origin's New Glenn, which could be ready for launch by late 2024, with contractual possibilities for a further 15 flights. Amazon has set aside 12 missions for the new Glenn. However, after Amazon's significant acquisition agreement in April 2022, the launch dates of all three rockets have been postponed by at least a year, placing further strain on Amazon's Kuiper timetable. The European Space Agency, ESA, declared on November 30th that the Ariane 6 rocket launch would take place in 2024, most likely between mid-June and the end of July. Officials indicate that they only plan to launch one more that year when it does. The new Glenn rocket from Blue Origins is still being developed. The head of NASA's launch service office said that the Mars-bound escape and plasma acceleration and dynamics explorers escapade mission 
would probably be the first mission for the new Glenn during a meeting of the NASA Advisory Council's Human Exploration and Operations Committee on November 20. According to a news release issued by Advanced Space in June, the mission is scheduled to launch in late 2024. However, it is not unusual for the new rocket to malfunction during its first test flights. Using a Vulcan rocket, ULA will be under the most pressure. With its maiden launch scheduled for no earlier than December 24, ULA's Vulcan rocket is the farthest along of the three. The company has already scheduled its next two launches, which will include its first national security mission and its second certification flight with Sierra Space as the customer. It is possible that Vulcan won't be ready to begin flying Kuiper missions until mid to late 2024, which implies that ULA will have to switch between Atlas and Vulcan flights to accommodate Kuiper missions on the eight Atlas V flights that are currently scheduled for Amazon. Launching the Boeing Starliner spacecraft on its first rough for NASA's commercial crew program will be one of ULA's top targets in early 2024. The mission will begin in the middle of April. It's unfortunate that since these are vehicles that have not yet been put into service, success cannot be assured 100% even though Amazon has committed a sizable price in purchasing these launches. But it's a different story for Elon SpaceX. The reusable rockets from SpaceX are increasingly being relied upon by government agencies and satellite firms for reliable and affordable launches. As previously mentioned in a Wall Street Journal story, it is nothing new for SpaceX to launch rivals into its constellations of internet satellites called Starlink. It deployed several dozen satellites for a single web constellation from late 2022 until early 2023. In the first half of 2023 alone, 88% flights were powered by the Elon Musk-owned enterprise. By 2024, the launch cadence is expected to climb to one flight every 2.5 days. The majority of these launches are for the Starlink Internet Network, owned by SpaceX. Additionally, SpaceX and the German business Rwanda Space Networks inked a deal for SpaceX to launch 300 of the latter satellites between 2025 and 2026. According to Caleb Henry, SpaceX is the only other Western business operating a heritage vehicle regularly. In other words, Kuiper had nowhere else to look, he claimed. Even though Musk and Bezos have always had a competitive relationship, the harsh truth that Amazon needs assistance from SpaceX has eclipsed it. Amazon is working to increase its capabilities to overtake its rivals in the satellite internet market. Even in the face of difficult launch procedures and regulatory obstacles, Amazon is currently building a $20 million satellite processing facility at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida, where it will prepare satellites for flight and encapsulate them in New Glenn and Vulcan payload fairings. Amazon has committed to spending $10 billion on the Project Kuiper Constellation. According to the corporation, EULA would be able to launch up to 25 Vulcan rockets annually if it had dual launching lanes to manage launches in Florida to create more Vulcan engines, solid rocket boosters, and payload fairings for Kuiper missions. EULA and their subcontractors are also enlarging their manufacturing spaces at various locations around the nation. Officials from Amazon and ULA are hoping that these improvements will enable the Vulcan rocket to overcome the growing difficulties that other launch vehicles encounter once they go into service. For instance, the Atlas V rocket's sixth flight in the early 2000s took 31 months to complete. Ten years ago, 33 months after its initial launch, SpaceX's Falcon 9 completed its fifth flight. This is crucial if Amazon is to launch over 1,600 Kuiper satellites by the middle of 2026. Several mega constellation satellite projects are in various stages of development to deliver low latency, including Amazon's Kuiper project. High speed connectivity for global government, enterprise, and consumer clients. Out of the two constellations in low Earth orbit that offer commercial internet services, SpaceX Starlink is the biggest. It appears that SpaceX is once again prepared to take payment from rival companies in exchange for launching their satellites. Everything will get more explosive when Starship takes off because it can carry more than 200 tonnes, which is much more than the current Falcon 9 satellite transport missions can carry. A larger, heavier version of Starlink with more capacity was also launched by SpaceX during the period that Starship was in flight. 
creating a strong global network of connectivity. Rather than having to go out and find new clients, SpaceX can now rely on their existing clients to come to them. That's all for today. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to give our video a thumbs up. This keeps us motivated to make more interesting videos like this for all of you.